All right, guys, welcome back to Daily Mass Concepts. What we're looking at today is um, one of those specimen papers for the City Angle Stage 3. All right, so I trust that. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Um, please like and share these um, videos as we go along. So here it is. We're going to be working on um, the stage three paper. And um, I trust that it will help you to do well in the exam coming up soon. So let's go. It says, which of the following sets of numbers contain all of the factors of 18? What are factors of 18? For uh, Factors of 18 are numbers that can actually go into 18 without leaving a remainder. So we want to make sure that we are getting those out. What are all the numbers that can go into 18 without a remainder? Here it is. So number one is C. The one is C. Let me see if I could get a bigger view. If it will. Let's take a bigger view. All right. Yeah. Bigger view right there. All right. So let's go for question two. Um, repaying, repayments of a loan are $269 per month for three years. Now, they want to know the total repayments in the three year. What we want to do though, is to make sure that we are understanding what is going on because for three years, you're talking about three times 12, that's 36 months. So what we wanna do now is to be, just to work out 36 months as we go along. 36 months paying $269. 69 dollars each to work it out all right so we want to quickly do our multiplication 966 54 put on this care of that 66 36 36 and 5 41 um 6 2 is 12 12 and 4 that's 16 put a zero 9 3 is 27 carry the two um nine so three six is 18 and two 20 uh carry the two all right, and three to six and two eight. All right, so I have this, and all we have to do now is just to add this up. So we're talking about four, eight, um, four, eight, six, four, eight, six. Let me write this better. Four, eight, this is six, and this is nine. So I'm looking for that, and there it is at number one. So basically, 36 times the 269 would have given us the 9,684. But you're definitely going to have to show. Um, you have to have these skills, guy. I don't think you're using a calculator at this exam. All right, what is five to the third? Five to the third means five times five times five, and this will give us 125. So you could see that that's the answer there. What's the square root of 64? We have to know square roots and so forth. So the answer is 88864, guys. So we want to make sure that we understand the square root. We memorize some of them so that we can do some things easily. What is 4,700 written in standard form? Remember, I know, in standard form, the, the the decimal point must come after the first digit that is not a zero. So we're gonna to have to make an effort so that the decimal point comes there. Remember when you don't see a decimal point, it's at the back. So let us check. How many times did it move to get there? One, two, three. So the answer is actually 4.7 times 10 to the three. And there it is. That's our response at B. 